This is for all of my dudes who are on child support, people who are on benefits, people who are on SSDI, and all of these other benefit programs. I get a lot of questions from you guys. Hey, Glendon, I'm on these benefits. I'm on child support. What can I do? And here's my message for you. There is nothing simple, easy, or quick to fix your solution. This video was brought to you by Hustlers Kung Fu University, AKA Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills, where our current course that we have going on is how to make money from scratch to set up in the foundation. So, if you want to get 50% off of this course, what you will do is leave a comment on this video. And also, there's a whole lot more for you at Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills. We deal with credit repair. We deal with how to start a business and the money management course. If you want 50% off of this course, leave a comment in the video. So we got a lot of stuff going on. So let's get into this wonderful bean footage. So let's have this little conversation. Let's have this chit chat. This got stemmed from someone from my other channel who uh, asked me about, you know, she's on SSDI and she asked me what does she need to do so she could afford to get a house and she doesn't have a down payment. My response was what you need to do is get something off of the books and seek down payment assistance. She kind of went off on me. Oh my God, are you going to pay for my attorneys when the government prosecutes me? And I, I haven't talked about this in a while, but there is a legal and there's a legal illegal. When I was selling stuff out of my warehouse, I wasn't supposed to oper operate a retail business. What I do, I operate a retail, retail business on the weekends. And this is where this kind of enters. If you're on benefits, you need to get some off the book income. And I'm gonna talk, address what my dudes who are on child support should do. You need to get an off the books income situation going on because at the end of the day, there's no one that's going to look out for you like you. There's no one that's gonna save you. There's no one that's gonna help you. And frankly, no one gives a damn except maybe close friends and family about your personal situation. No one really cares. And even if you get caught, like I will tell you this happened. Well, when I first got in the storage auction business, we were having like crazy, crazy garage sales. And you know, the thing that the worst thing that happened was we got a letter from the city saying we we're having too much garage sales and they was going to fine us 500. That's the worst thing that happened. That was the worst thing that happened. And we just stopped having garage sales and we moved into the lot your flea market. We started getting booths and so on and so forth. If you are a person who's on benefits, meaning that you're not working, uh, you need to get some books, some income off the books. Now, if you are a person who are on benefits that got your social security number, you need a proxy, which can be a relative or a friend that's gonna let you use their social and stuff for you to build up your business and not get in trouble. If you do this correctly, you're not getting in trouble. You're never gonna get caught if you do it correctly. But if you are like a scared little slave Oh, they gonna get me, they gonna get me. Yeah, you know, you might as well lead us along and continue to struggle, continue to have this life that you don't have the things that you want. Go ahead. All right, for my dudes who are on child support. I know that, you know, everyone thinks it's funny. Everyone thinks it's a joke. Uh, I saw a live stream where they were talking about you guys for not getting your stimulus because you were in arrears and it was a big joke. I understand your pain. Some of you have got these child support orders that have been financially crippling. You can't do what you want, you can't live what you want, and also because you're dealing with an angry woman, you don't even get to see your kids as much as your court allocated time says you should see your kids. So you're paying all this money, you're behind, you're struggling, and everyone thinks it's a joke. I don't think it's a joke. 
I was there. Let me tell you what I did in my situation because when I went through my divorce, my child support order was way more than it should have been. And then I lost my job. They don't care if you lose your job. They will take your unemployment. They will take whatever money you got coming in. They just, just simply don't care because you as a man, usually it's a man, there are many women who are starting to get on child support and they're starting to feel the pain, but no one really cares. It's just this big, big joke. So when I got myself on my feet, I did this. It's like, okay, this is what my child support is. I need to make on the side three times to four times what my child support is. I know you are mad. I know you're upset. I know you ain't, no, no one cares. No one, no one feels your pain, except maybe if you got a girlfriend who is in love with you and she can see the unfairness of it, maybe her, but for the record, the government don't care. No one really cares. And it's just this big joke that you should go ahead and get yourself together and pay your child support so people could stop laughing at you. So this is what I did. And this is how I got into the esoteric. This is how I really got into starting my own business because I was starting to make really good money and my ex took me back to court for reconsideration, but she did it before my income was recorded. So my child support did not uh, change. And I was like, okay, so this chick is doing this thing. So if I go ahead and make a lot of money, she's going to come after me. And this is one of the reasons that I came up with the Hustlers LLC. This is one of the reasons that I came up with starting my own business because I'm going to be frank with you. I feel that it's absolutely disgusting that someone can tell you they're going to take X amount of your check and there ain't nothing you can do about it. You just got to bend over and take it. I, I wasn't built for that. I, I, I wasn't designed for that. So I created my company in a manner that because this is why you have to be in self-employed because your child support comes off of what your profit is and you decide what your profit is if you're making a lot of money and you want to go ahead and spend that money in the company on a company car a company apartment those could be deductions and expenses for your company that do not factor into your income there's so many ways to do it and I'm not saying don't abandon being a father, you know, because the thing is with my situation, I was getting my kids, I was seeing them, I was buying them stuff. But the whole point is I was dealing with this very angry, disgruntled, upset person. And that just made things way harder than they had to be. To this day, I have not talked to her in maybe 16, 17 years. And that's just how deep the hate and animosity goes. Our daughter doesn't talk to her. Our daughter just literally got up and left out and moved in with me. You know, essentially what happens is when a woman is told that by the government that you have to do X, Y, and Z, she's empowered and she's going to act like a clown. So this is what I did. Once I started my business, I had no worries of her ever doing this because she did this the first year that I sold new office furniture. And that year, I didn't really make a lot of money for tax purposes. So once again, my uh, child support never changed. And once I learned how to play the game, so I, I understand that right now you're in a bad situation. But one of the things you've got to do is amp up and power through this because this is one of the things that happens. A lot of men go into a low gear because of child support. They're not trying to make any money because they know she's going to get any money. And typically when your children are little up into your mid forties, those are your highest peak earning years. And once you cross 50, typically your income declines. So while you're in, got it in this low gear, you're missing out on all types of money for your productive future. So don't put it in low gear, put it in high gear, but protect yourself. I got a few things. I got the Hustlers LLC and I have the child support course. I'm going to link that below because there is a way that you can do this while protecting yourself because you're, you're going to have to bust out. You're going to have to make money. And I understand that you're worried about, you know, like for you guys who are in the rears, you're going to have to balance it out. You're going to have to pay those arrears because they're going to mess up your checking account. 
They're going to mess up your stimulus check payment. They're going to mess up your uh, tax return. All that stuff's just going to disappear and you're never going to get it. And also, I will tell you, when I was going through my situation where um, I was dealing with this woman who, in my opinion, she intentionally got pregnant because she always used to have this little thing, two baby minimum conversation. And uh, we agreed that we were going to raise our child here in Georgia. I would keep her, then she would keep her. And then she got this ideal in her head that I don't have to honor that agreement. So she moved out the state with the child and went first thing at the child support court. I fought it. I won. I got it dismissed. But during this interim, one of these judges just assigned the number and they started me on child support, which I did not pay because I did not agree with it. And I, we got transferred to another judge and that judge took my arguments, listened to me and dismissed the case. And then I had to go ahead and send something to the child support services like y'all need to chill. Y'all need to add ease. Y'all need to cut that crap out. Right. And it still hit my credit report. I mean, once they come after you, once you're in that system, they're tenacious. They're like a pit bull that just bit in and just went, Arr! and they don't want to let go. So like I said, understand your situations and you're just going to have to make more money, but you're going to have to protect yourself. So what I was saying for the people who are on benefits, you may have to get a proxy. It may be your mother. It may be your sister. And this is a way that you can build a business and make a lot of money and not have it go toward child support. Once again, I'm all about trying to help you win. This is stuff I did. I did not use a proxy. I used the hustlers LLC method, which set me off in a position where, you know, she couldn't get any more money. She couldn't get any more money without my permission. I mean, I want you to think about that because the only rights that you have are the rights that you can enforce. They could tell you, you got these kind of rights, this kind of right, that right. But when the chips get down to the bricks and you find out those rights are non-existent. So I'm all about self-reliance, self-empowerment and knowing the law. And because I knew the law, I was able to get my case dismissed and leave, you know, and she tried again. She tried again. But, you know, once again, I just knew the game and I didn't allow what she was trying to do to happen. So she never got me back in court again because to me, she was a dishonorable person because many women feel that the child is door, you're theirs, but you're supposed to pay child support for a child that they treat as personal property, that they do whatever they want to keep you from seeing the child, but you are supposed to, because the government has told them that that's what you're supposed to do. So play the game, but play the game better. Go ahead and get yourself in a better framework. And once again, you know, support your kids, see your kids, be a father in your kid's life, but do not let this woman rake you over the coals. And you know, for you guys who are in the rears, you, you're going to have to probably get a proxy, get you a business, get you some income so you can pay off your arrears, so you can live your life, so you can get a passport, so you can be a free agent in this world because essentially the way that they will do this, this will dog you for life. This will dog you for decades. And you, you, you just got to and starting a business is going to be the quickest way that you can dig yourself out of this hole. And right now, you know, depending upon your situation, depending upon your finances right now, it's the perfect time to start a business. So hopefully this message finds you in good spirits and hopefully not too demoralized and the links to, cause what I'm going to do is put the hustlers LLC, which is a standalone product. It is, does not include the stuff that's including in the art of holding, because this is a different program because before you get married, before you have children, you should have this thing going on. This should be in play. So I will link all of that stuff below. So with that, you should watch this next video. It should be really good for you.